Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Things are getting interesting on EAFC24, especially on the market, because we really witnessed the first market crash of this year's Ultimate Team yesterday, with prices dropping 20 30% and more on some really popular cards that a lot of people had in their teams or were invested in. I'll talk about why the market crashed today, what we can learn from it, and what to watch for going forward. Will some of these cards like Rolfo and Gijaro that have dropped off so much return to the values that they were? Or did we see the peak prices just earlier in the week? We'll talk about a lot of that today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. First of all, guys, I have to say massive, massive thank you for 100,000 subscribers. It was a milestone starting out making these types of videos that I never really expected to hit, never even imagined to hit, but I really appreciate all the support over the years that we have been doing these videos, um, and it's a blast, and I really appreciate all the support that you guys show getting me to this. There's going to be a special video um, for a 100,000 subscriber special video coming here pretty soon, and so be on the lookout for that. That's what we have to say about that, but thank you guys again. I do appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed, uh, and I love all of you. So let's get into the rest of the video today. We have a lot to talk about, but I wanted to get that out of the way because that is very important, and uh, I know a lot of you guys were commenting about it. But first of all, yesterday's content on Tuesday, we had some very interesting SBC and objective combinations. Once again, we had some more squad foundations that were released. It was with the Liga F this time, and the best card that was released yesterday was in SBCs, in my opinion. Estefania Banini, four star, four star, high medium, five foot four, mostly explosive. Looks like a really solid center attacking mid or a box to box midfielder. Very high acceleration, great dribbling stats, great passing stats, and decent shooting stats as well. This is actually a solid SBC. BC guys coming in at about 52,000 coins. I think it's an SBC that a lot of people are doing. And here's why I say that. Uh, first of all, you look at the upvote, downvote. There are a lot of downvotes. I think it's because a lot of people are still not used to linking some of these players in their team. This Benini card actually links pretty well with other men's players. Llorente, Correa, Griezmann with the Atletico Madrid links. That gives chemistry in a squad. So that is nice. But take a look at some prices of like meta other midfielders across the market. A guy like Bruno Guimaraes, yeah, he was dropping off a little bit before content yesterday. But once the content drop happened, he went from 6,000 coins straight to where he is now, 4.6K. A lot of midfielders on the game yesterday dropped. And I think that is a direct correlation to this Benini card. I really think that uh, even for Gijaro, who's I think a better card personally than the Benini that was dropped with more stats in some key areas, dropping from 63k down to 52,000 coins, now back up to about 58k. Um, yes, the market was crashing before this SBC came out, but when the SBC actually came out, a lot of those midfielders were impacted. Even one more example is the teammate to Bruno Guimaraes, Jolinton, who's now only 8,000 coins started the day at 10 was even 10,000 at content and then boom absolutely got destroyed in price um, even on a lower level destroyed down 2,000 coins in a 10k card that's a huge drop right 20% drop um, because of this card that's literally what I'm looking at and what I'm seeing right there so people are doing this SBC now it didn't really make fodder move that much because it's pretty low rated squads 84 85 a lot of people can get that done with especially the packs that are given out via objectives but the reason I point out that card and mention it a lot is it moved the market the most and then of course the cards that you can link to it through the milestone objectives the guys they're just I don't think they're as good the Baba G day um, English left wing slash striker card here is not too bad. It's the pace that really makes the card interesting, but pretty low attack positioning. The dribbling, not the best. The passing, not the best. 94 strength is pretty good. But for me, I don't know if it's worth doing, if it's worth my time right now, because it's not that difficult to do, but I just don't see a lot of these cards getting into my team at this very moment. But it is nice to have squad foundations, and we can't complain too much about that. I will say, this Banini card, if you're running Rolfo on your team, if you're running any of the really meta Liga F cards, like it does provide solid Liga F links. And again, Argentinian and Atletico Madrid, it will link to a lot of other different players. So that Benini card is the best of the content that we saw yesterday. And, and that was basically it. The packs refreshed in the store, the 80 or 78 times four or 78 plus upgrade times four times per day, I guess I should say, refreshed as well. But that was basically it for yesterday's content. I started KDB. I got to get that done before he goes away. Rivals Rewards is going to be a big help about that. Now, the bigger content, even bigger than all of that, of course, 
is the market crash and why did prices absolutely get destroyed as much as they did well really i think it have to we have to look back to monday and we have to look back to all the crazy prices that we saw for a lot of these cards on monday that were honestly like huge price increases and, and maybe they were just too big of price increases guys right we go back to monday and we see rolfo went from 54,000 coins, which is actually less than she is now, 58K, all the way to 83,000 coins. We had massive price rises on specifically a lot of the women's cards, right? Because it was getting out, the word was getting out that these women women's cards were so good in game and they were gonna become the meta. So everybody started A, investing in these cards and trying them out. You know, Dabinia went from 120K all the way to 175,000 coins by the time we get to Monday. And then yesterday she goes from 170K back down to 136, where realistically, if the meta um, would not have gotten hyped for these women's cards and stuff like that for a lot of these cards specifically, I think they would still be around these prices that they are. It's just we had a crazy, crazy spike on Monday. I think a lot of people saw that and said, this stuff's way too expensive. It's too inflated it's time to sell. And that's really what brought on the crash yesterday. And guys, you'll learn this. If this is the first market crash that you've experienced, or maybe you were like, you know, last year you didn't play the full year, there's gonna be a lot of market crashes this year. So the way that I'm kind of taking the route of this today and talking about it is, I wanna learn from it. And I wanna see how market crashes are gonna impact the market this year. Because if we learn from this one, that means whenever market crashes are going to come in the future, we're going to be better equipped and, and kind of used to seeing it and know how it's going to happen and be able to even make coins during a bit of a market crash, which a lot of people are obviously not doing when prices are crashing and people are selling cards. So that's kind of the lens we're going to look through uh, this today. But first of all, I think the reason the price has dropped once again, not just on the women's cards, but on the entire market was because... Prices just went up so much uh, in the past couple of days. I think people saw the prices get as high as they did on Monday and said, "Now nah, this is probably a time to sell before we have another promo coming this Friday. They didn't want to worry about that. And the price spikes were so big that it was just a lot of people started selling. And of course, once a lot of people start selling, it's a snowball effect. Just like you see all these cards dropping down, like Varan from 120 down to 100,000 coins. It's a snowball effect. When people see that prices are starting to drop and they have the card that's starting to drop, they go and list the card up and try to sell it because like, oh my goodness, the card's dropping. I got to get out. It's that panic, right? The stream title yesterday was panic. And that is exactly what this is. Going from 59,000 coins to 50,000 coins on Cristiano Ronaldo, who I still think is underpriced at this time still, in my opinion. But that's another point. That was what yesterday was, panic selling for a lot of people that I think had bought cards for their teams and also people that had invested, right? Think about a lot of those price spikes that we saw on Sunday and Monday on the women's cards. They were rising because people were investing in them because it was really we were really learning that they were super meta, super usable. This Alex Morgan with the Finesse Shot Plus trade had so much hype, right? There was a lot of investing that was going on. And yesterday, people just kind of decided to sell because the prices uh, seemed too good for probably what we have upcoming with content. Of course, people were fearing packs and stuff being open this weekend. So I understand why people sold, but of course it always hurts when you get stuck in a market crash. But the best thing about a market crash is, is that you can learn. And for a lot of us as well, I know a lot of you guys who bought Rolfo for like 30 K or Guijaro for like 40 K and yeah, they're down a little bit, but they're still actually up a lot in price from where they were, right? Or maybe if you bought Kimpembe, who's 35,000 coins right now, but like all weekend he was in the 20K range, right? So if you bought a card then and you're like, oh, Nate, I missed out on so much profit because I, I didn't sell right here when it was the best time to sell. Guys, I don't think that the prices that we saw on Monday will never be reached again. Like, I actually really believe that in Kunku is gonna get back to 100,000 coins. Maybe it's this weekend, maybe it's next weekend. Like, guys, we still have a lot of players to come onto this market and a lot of prices on the top tier meta are still gonna actually end up going up a lot higher in price. I just think for right now, you have to be, you have to kind of realize where you're at, where you bought cards at and where you wanna sell and where you wanna hold cards. Like I'm still holding a lot of cards. I bought Guru Retins at 24,000 coins. She was 40K. She went all the way down to 28,000 coins, but is now back up to 32,000 coins. So instead of listing Guru Retins and taking my small profit that I could have had, I'm still holding on to them because I feel like there's a potential this card could still rise up. And in the meantime, I'm gonna list for the lazy buyers that I still think 
might buy this card if I get a little bit lucky with one or two of them as I keep relisting them for hour after hour. And I might be able to catch a couple extra thousand coins off of a lazy sale. I would say I wouldn't really be worried about the market right now, especially on the top tier most meta cards like those high rated ones. It's again, the low rated ones that we're worried about and that we would probably not want to be holding on to even if they are dropping, right? Vandevin yesterday in the video, I think we looked at it and he was uh, 18, 19K. And he's down, right? And that makes sense, right? A lot of the market dropped. Cards like this dropped as well. But this is not a card that I would be like, oh, I'm going to watch and see if he goes back up to, you know, 19K. I hope he does. I'm going to buy him. I expect him to go there. You know, he ha might have one more spike in him, but that's a low rated card that's going to drop off really fast as people upgrade their teams. So that's one thing I wanted to point out today. Now, could there be further drops in the market? The answer to that's actually yes, there could be. Because guys, last year one year ago on this very day the wednesday before we had ones to watch the first like full promo of the year we had a loading screen two days before for ones to watch now ones to watch is not happening this year right we're getting a different promo it is road to the knockouts and i'm pretty sure the car design it's not in here yet we don't have it inside of ultimate team right now but road to the knockouts is the next promo which will feature live player items we love this promo it's one of our favorites if we get a loading screen of that today, there could be some more potential panic on the market. You could see some prices that would drop a little bit further, not a crazy amount further, but that's just a promo that carries some weight that a lot of people enjoy. And I think you could see some selling if that happens. Now, it's not a guarantee. It's just a hypothetical situation. And I'm still holding on to cards, even though knowing that, right? Again, let my coin total and my transfer list speak for still how confident I am in this market for cards that maybe you bought a few days back, like I did with the Guaritans, who I'm still making coins on. I believe that the prices can still go up, but there could be some still prices that go down um, in the coming days as well, just with the content and the hype of content that we have upcoming a couple other things that i want to look at from the market yesterday and all the drops that we had like some drops being 20 30 plus on cascarino 23,000 or 23 percent drop bruno down 28 percent zaha down 28 crystal dunn one of the most hyped women's players on a lower budget 18k down what did that say 27 percent as well one of the things i want to mention is a lot of people are selling cards yesterday right you see the prices dropping as much as they did if all these people are selling cards that means that they have coins even if they were losing coins those coins have now all of a sudden become liquid coins that are sitting right up here and a lot of people have them in their ultimate teams ready to buy the next investment ready to buy the next thing that's something that's very interesting so when when there's another investment opportunity that becomes very popular that a lot of people would want to buy, it's probably going to shoot up pretty quickly because a lot of people will now have coins to do that since they've sold previous investments. And also, guys, it is so possible to trade in a market crash. That's the one thing I want to spin some positivity onto this as well. If this was one of the first market crashes that you had ever witnessed, guys, it is so possible to learn from these sorts of situations to next time when it happens, because you better believe there's going to be more market crashes this year. You can take advantage of the situation, right? Gijaro is one that right now I still have some cards on my transfer list, as you maybe saw. Uh, I bought her literally right here. I bought her at 51,000 coins, about three of them, because that was all that I had at the time. And uh, I, I knew this card was going to rebound back because number one, it's high rated. Number two, Barcelona links. And number three, I knew why it went down. It went down because of the new Banini. And yes, this is a decent SPC that a good amount of people are doing, but I honestly think that Guijaro is just better, right? It's also just like the same situation when Kevin De Bruyne, his flashback SBC came out last Friday, the gold card dropped, but since the gold card was a lot cheaper, it actually ended up rebounding back up since the SBC was a lot, was more expensive than I think a lot of people wanted it to be. There was reasons for that card to rebound back up. I thought the reasons for Guijaro to drop um, to come back up from the drop was a she's a better card in my opinion and b she has better links and she's also been hyped up so much recently because of the links to rolfo liga f the spanish links as well so i picked up this card and that was actually ended up being a pretty good move and a lot of other cards had the same thing right a lot of these women's cards that dropped off a ton alex morgan was 52k 52,000 coins for a couple hours. And now look, she's back up to 57 to 58,000 coins. Um, Debinha, I think, was uh, 130,000 coins at one point, And now she's back to 150, 136, all the way back to 155, it looks like. 
closing in on that price. Um, that's the sort of thing that you could have done. And even on some of the other players in the market, like I'm trying to think of some of the men's players that rebounded back yesterday as well. Neymar was 350. He's now 393. Hyunmin Son was like 110K, maybe even a little below that. He's back up. Um, Cancelo and Harry Kane, two cards that people were investing in for this week's team of the week. I actually ended up picking up uh, seven Cancelos or six Cancelos yesterday at like 45,000 coins and under because I know Cancelo is very likely to get a team of the week card today. And if he does, this card's probably going to go back up as people invest in it and know that his card is going out of packs, the gold card that is. So there was some selling on those types of investments yesterday too, which is purely investor selling. So we have opportunities to make coins still in these situations that don't seem as fun when prices are dropping a lot. So that's what I'm looking at for the market right now, guys. I think there is potential if there is no content today and if or if there is not a lot of content and if there's no loading screen, the prices could maybe still creep back up just a little bit. But we're also getting really close to rivals rewards. And I could also see a situation where some people start to list their cards because of rivals rewards as well. And they're expecting tradable supply. But also, what do we know what happens with tradable supply, right? Like it did on Sunday with um, the squad battle rewards, prices will probably go up after rivals rewards but people might anticipate that supply and sell some cards as well. So today might be a really interesting day on the market. It also could be a really quiet day. But overall, I still believe that if you bought cards, especially if it's something for your team, like let's say you bought Tonali at 100K and you're like, Nate, he's 125. Do I have to be worried? No, this is the best Prem center defensive mid in the game. Has the most hype, has great links. You know, keep that in your team, especially if there's a card that's in your team. I wouldn't be too worried right now because we've got more people coming on the game this weekend, more coins about to hit the market, and a lot of those top tier meta cards I still think have potential to rise up in the next week or so, especially because, guys, this game, the menus, I believe, are incorrect. I'm hearing some rumors. It looked like before Foot Champions was going to be this weekend, which would not make sense for the fact that Foot Champs has never started when the full of the game has not been out, right? That would mean that Foot Champs, if it was starting this weekend, would be out and starting before the full game release, and that has never happened before, and I've been hearing some rumors that it is not going to be the case, even though right now it says that Champs Finals, the countdown there, is going to start this weekend. I'm hearing that it is actually not, and it's going to be next weekend instead, which makes a lot more sense. But, I mean, when the countdown shows that in game, we were all kind of like, well, this is what EA says. But just kind of rem remember that if you're grinding rivals like now, right now, uh, like your life depends on it so you can get into weekend league. Maybe pump the brakes a bit if you want to because I think we're not actually going to have that competition this weekend. But I know some people have already qualified for champs, and that's pretty crazy. What a grind for you. But ggs at the same time so i wanted to point that out and then i want to talk about today as well on wednesday we already mentioned team of the week number two and we've looked at the prediction in yesterday's video we mentioned that we were looking at it once again today on stream because um, a lot of these cards i think could be impacted a lot of cards in the market today could be impacted right team of the week one going out of packs means that some of our cards that have been out of packs now like gold lewandowski gold dibala gold karchawi gold salah are probably going to be dropping as they're coming back into packs but the gold cards that have team of the weeks today going out of packs i'm watching harry kane hyunmin son cancelo hakimi uh even trippier guys the team of the week today if this is going to be anywhere near close to where it is could be a really really crack and i think that's going to be the biggest thing i'm watching for as a part of content today on this game is who gets into team of the week we'll probably get some leaks as of right now we have nothing on team of the week leaks but i am invested like i mentioned in a couple of cancelos just because i thought his price got too low yesterday a lot of these i picked up under 45k i think he has a potential to go back to like i don't know 52 53 and if he actually does get an inform and goes out of packs he's probably going to go higher than that with the la liga links with the barcelona links that are usable with the men's and women's players so i'm a big fan of that card at the moment we'll see what ends up happening today with the team of the week and it's a bit risky on my part for sure but i'm willing to risk it i'm willing to risk it right now to make some coins last thing i want to talk about is i guess technically our first like leak that we've had in a long time foot sheriff has gone radio silent on legit leaks i don't know what this guy has changed for fc24 or what ea has changed for fc24 but this guy has got like nothing recently but foot trading romania yesterday tweeted out that a bundesliga player of the month sbc should 
come soon for Boniface. Victor, the um, Bayer Leverkusen striker, he is Nigerian, guys. So, And he also is on Leverkusen. So the links are not the best. A lot of people are looking at Frimpong and investing in this card for the potential link to that play of the month SBC. Keep an eye on this card because yesterday people were investing in him. He was all the way up to 30,000 coins. Right now he's 22K and he would be a good buy if we were to get this SBC. If we get this SBC, guys, since his uh, base card is a silver, you know, I think EA needs to boost it to like 83, 84. Then it could be a usable card. Also needs a skill move or a weak foot upgrade. So I hope EA give us something nice here with this one. But this leak, we don't know when it's going to drop. Could be today. Could be tomorrow, could be sometime later this weekend. And we also don't know if we're getting other player of the month. I know we've mentioned Jude Bellingham. He won the La Liga player of the month in August. If we were to get a Jude Bellingham SBC, I still think that would be so game changing and that would just rock the market so much. Um, I kind of want it to happen just to, you know, see what would happen and have a lot of crazy movements and a great card. But Jude Bellingham's card um, is, you know, down a little bit as a part of everything else is 100,000 coins. He was like 125. So just keep an eye on that. Um, I don't know if we're getting all the player of the months. I only, you know, see the leaks and see the James Madison that we've already had. So I'm unsure about those 100%. But keep an eye on that because that is a potential piece of content that could be coming up very soon. Other than that today, no idea. It seems like the content is slowing down a little bit. But watch out for that loading screen. And maybe we will finally get some leaks about either Road to the Knockouts and then for sure the team of the week today. It's one of the biggest things happening on FC24 Ultimate Team. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, prices, market, whatever it may be, market crash. Let me know what you want to know down in the comments. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nathan for Accountant. See you guys in a video tomorrow and a stream today. Peace.